My name is Julian Farino and I was a director on In Treatment. I really think I found the job that I was meant to do, which is a lucky thing in life. You know, I grew up in an era where I don't think anyone thought about what they were going to do in the way that young people are invited to today. You know, I went to university and when I finished, I was like, okay, what now? I had a loving documentary and I got a job as a researcher and as soon as I, you know, got my foot in that door of television filmmaking, I could see directing was the thing I wanted to do. I'm blessed to have done that and some of the projects I've done are very close to my sensibility, so that's always really what you're looking for. I think you learn your biggest lessons from failures. The thing I did that was probably the most calamitous felt like the darkest hour. I'm pretty much a happy soul. I don't believe in creativity through a sort of intense neurosis, so I, I like to be happy. As soon as I was able to look at it objectively, I learned more on the failure than I did on all the things that have gone relatively well. It's a completely unique challenge, I'd say, doing in treatment. This is bare bones, minimalist, got really nowhere to hide. It's almost like a sort of pure exercise. The other thing that's very different is they're not necessarily sort of A to Z narratives. In treatment, as a reflection of an hour of therapy, can be a little more elliptical. You know, there were a lot of challenges with COVID. Every time I wanted to go talk to an actor, and the first AD says, goggles, and then I'm halfway across as my mind's in the scene. You know, what COVID threatened most of all was that intimacy with cast, which is a massive part of what a director does. The fact there was such a nice spirit on set was enormous help. There's an awful lot of patience required to shoot under those conditions. Respect to the actors, really, for, for managing that in such good temper.